Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm going to show you what to do with your .mbox file or your mbox file. Most of you have gone to Google Takeout, backed up your Gmail account or your Google email via Google Workspace uh, emails and inboxes and folders. You've backed it up and then you received a zip file and now you have no idea what to do. This happened to me. I spent a lot of time to figure out what to do and that's why I made this video. So let's jump into it. Let's show you exactly the steps and what options you have. Really simply put, this video is for Windows, Linux, and Mac. There's two methods you can do on Mac and there's one method for Windows and one method for Linux. Let's jump into it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to take out google.com. I wanted to create a new export for mail. I'm going to search mail. This is my Gmail account, for example. I clicked on a, a yes, a checkbox. I selected either all folders in my inbox sent, et cetera, et cetera, or some of them. I can select some of them right here, select them, uh, and I exported. I went to the bottom, I exported next, next, and then I came back like an hour later and I clicked on manage exports in my Google takeout. And now it's ready to download. I clicked on download. Eventually I got a zip file with all my, let's see right here. I got my zip file with all my takeout, takeout dash, this number, it's basically the date and some other information dot zip. You might have multiple zip files if it's really big inbox or you might have one. I had one, I double clicked on it and eventually I got a folder here called takeout with a subfolder inside called mail and I have all my inbox files. You're gonna have either one or multiple depending on how you exported it, okay? Now if you double click on a Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, nothing's gonna happen. There's no software that knows how to open this inbox and be able to read all your emails. So what do you need to do? You actually need to have a software. So the first solution I'm going to show you is for all operating systems is a software called Thunderbird and it'll apply and work for you for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Very simply, just click on download here, you install it, right? Now, the reason I selected uh, Thunderbird, the reason why I recommend Thunderbird is I went, I had the problem of Mbox importing myself and I did some research and I spent a lot of time figuring out what's the best solution. So uh, there's a lot of apps out there that there's a lot of information. There's a lot of outdoor dated articles and videos explaining different solutions. Um, some of them were not so trustworthy. Some of them were very small companies. I, I don't know if there's hacks or uh, it's there's hidden cost or it doesn't work. It works. They're going to read my emails. So I wanted to choose the company and the product that is the most stable, the most secure, and the biggest reputable company. And I found Thunderbird. Thunderbird is an email client that lets you read and receive your emails. Uh, send and receive your emails and, uh, and do it. Thunderbird is made by the Mozilla Foundation, which is basically the company that made Firefox. You're aware of the browser Firefox. They make a lot of open source te uh, technology as well. It's a very big company. Thunderbird app or software is used by a ton, a ton, millions of people over the years, over many, many, many years. They support multiple languages. There's a ton of cool things for it. Okay, so all you have to do is just download it. You click on download, you install it. I've already done it to save some time. And I basically got a Thunderbird uh, file. I'm using Mac, you'll get an EXE on, on Windows and on Linux, you'll get a zip or a tar, and then you can you know install it. Once you do that, all you do is you open the Thunderbird app, very simply, and you're gonna set up for the first time, you're gonna set up your account. If you um, don't have an account, if you don't wanna uh, actually send and receive, you only wanna read emails, when you set up the account, you can skip, 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 and eventually you can just go here and do it yourself. If you wanna set up account, you need your SMTP information, your username, password so we can send and receive on, on your behalf. Now all you need to do very simply is you need to basically import your inbox into the local folders. It's really really easy. So how do you do that? You're going to go to the settings of the app, Thunderbird settings. In the Windows you're just going to go to the top menu and click on settings uh, or Linux is basically same and you're going to go to account settings right here. When you go to the account settings you're going to click on local folders right here and you're going to see here message store type equals mbox. So you don't need to do anything here. But what you do need to do is reference, put the directory name of where your mbox is located. So I'm going to browse here and I'm going to go to my downloads uh, and take out. And I'm going to go to the mail folder if you remember. And you can see your mbox is here. And I'm going to click here, select not the mbox, but the folder that all the mboxes are located. And once you click on OK, it's going to say uh, in order to load everything, I'm, it's going to need to restart. So you say no problem and then you go back to your inbox right here, you go back to your inbox and you'll notice that the inboxes are right here. They're right here in local folders. So I click here, 
and I click here, right? And now they're starting to load. You see now there's 11,000 emails or 65 in this one. And then it'll take some time. It'll take some time depending on the size, it'll load all of them. For me, I don't wanna show you uh, the inbox. Uh, sorry for that, but there's some private e emails in there. But this one is okay. This is just my own organization and my notes. You can see that and that's it, it's imported, we finished. So that's one solution that applies to Mac, Linux and uh, Windows. Now, uh, there is one more solution. If you are using Mac, I'm gonna show you one more way to do this. If you are using Mac, you're using the mail uh, program, the built-in mail program. You can click here on mail. All you need to do is you can go here to uh, mail and setting, excuse me, file and import mailboxes. And then you're gonna click on mbox format, very simply continue. And then you're gonna go to your folder, same thing, take out mail, Okay, so now we completed it, and now you'll have it right here, and now I can see all my inboxes, it's good to go. So I hope this makes sense for you guys. I showed you two options for Mac, and one option for Linux, one option for Windows. I hope this makes sense for you guys, I hope it's clear. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know, we're here to answer your questions. We're gonna be making a lot more videos, and if you did like this video, please like, please subscribe, please share, please say hello, please help others in the comments if you know how to help others or you have other solutions. Please recommend to us other solutions or other ways, and we'll be making more and more videos for you guys. Thank you very much. Much, much appreciated.